And with this, inshallah, it is done. Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry signed a law April 17, allowing the city's 20 mosques to broadcast by speaker the Muslim call to prayer at any time of day. The call to prayer, also known as Adhan, is recited five times a day from dawn to dusk throughout the year. But the previous noise ordinance prevented some early morning and evening calls. Mayor Jacob Fry said the decision was about inclusion and welcoming all religions. This is about all of us that have some form of faith or religion. From the church bells to the blow of the shofar to Adan and the call to prayer. This is about inclusion, peace and freedom of religion. This move is seen as a victory for the city's increasing population of East African immigrants, many of whom are Muslim. The decision was also praised by leaders in the Muslim community. Today is a historical day for this mosque, for the Muslim community in Minneapolis, but also for the Muslim community in Minnesota, for the Muslim community in the United States, for the Muslim community in the whole world. To watch and see this taking place inside of a mosque. Jailani Hussein, executive director of the Minnesota chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations or CARE, said allowing the call to prayer five times a day would decrease Islamophobia and increase understanding of the Muslim faith. So I see this as an opportunity to educate, an opportunity for people to see us, hear us, and an opportunity for those who hate us maybe, an opportunity for them to connect with us. And so I'm, I'm really glad that this has happened and I think it's a positive sign for us here in Minnesota. Muslim leaders say they haven't yet received and don't expect any backlash to the idea of early morning and late night calls to prayer. They say it's no different than the sounding of church bells, but they also say they understand there may be concerns. At least one mosque in South Minneapolis will hold neighborhood meetings to explain the new rules and listen to any concerns. From Mahmoud Musaadeh in Minneapolis, Salem Solomon, VOA News.